I really felt like I needed like a hot cocoa or something for this, but it's so hot out that like that would have just been a bad idea. And all I got is water. How much would it be to door dash a drink? Hello there guys and welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been a bit. I tried to do this video a week and a half ago, something like that, I don't know. And I was trying to use a camera and it was failing. The camera would go for a minute and then be like, recording? What's recording? How do I do that? So I lost like all of my foot. So we are going to have to use this lovely phone for a while. And at least it's sitting up nicely on my ring light with the stand and everything. But you know, it's just kind of like, hit me up if you know what is a good filming camera for YouTube because I really need to invest in one. Today, oh my God, I keep getting distracted by like the ring light in my glasses. <laughs> How do people do this? Oh my god. Like, at least I'm bright. So today we are doing the Do I Have That Book Challenge. I was requested to do it by Taro Belinger. I hope I got your name right, and if I didn't, you can yell at me at the comments and below. Here you go. Here's the challenge. So this challenge has 20 questions, and because my phone is recording and can't be used to look it up, I use Grimmy, my typewriter, and typed them up. So we have this lovely little sheet. And yes, because I have done this before, some of them I know, but most of them I'm just like, I did this, I, I went all the way through. So it's kind of like starting over again, but I will not be timing it. I was trying to time it last time. I'm not gonna time it this time because obviously I know some of the answers. So let's just jump right in. I feel like I'm way too far away from the camera, but it's actually a better angle. What? Why are you judging me? You're adorable, but you don't need to judge me. Number one, do you have a book with deckled edges? Yes and no. Yes, because I have one, and no, because it's not here. Too many book problems. This is only about half of my books. The rest are at my parents. And the reason I know the answer to this is because when I was little, I didn't like them, and I tried to cut them off with scissors, and my mom was mad. So that book is The Tale of Despero <laughs> by Kate DeCamelo. I hope I also pronounced that right. But yeah, that is the book that I have with deckled edges. I may or may not have one on, on here with deckled edges, but 99% sure I do not. So we're just going to go with it. I answered the question, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> Number two, do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? I do remember what I went with for this one. So I went with Abby Glein's series, um, Field Party series, yes because all of them have at least four people on the cover. <laughs> so like, easy score. Number three, do you have a book based on another fictional story? I have a couple, uh, a lot of them are doing this nowadays, but the easiest one that I can think of is Cinder. I also have Hunted somewhere. I think you actually can see it kind of there. Number four, do you have a book with 10, wait, what? Number four. <laughs> Do you have a book with a title that is 10 letters long? Let's count. I immediately looked at the shelf, read the first title, and it was Paper Towns by John Green. And each word has 10 letters, making it... Wait, what? I don't know how to math, so I don't know why people expect me to do these kinds of things and actually get it right, because math is hard. Each word has five letters, making it a total of 10. There, see, I math. I, I did a math problem, that's all I need to do today. Number five, do you have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter? I do remember this one because it took me forever to find it, so we're just going right to it. For this one, it was Dreamland by Sarah Dessen because it started and ended with the Ds. Question number six is, do you have a mass market paperback book? And surprisingly, yes, because I actually hate these because I feel like the size is just kind of weird. Like, I like, like, the standard paperback size. But I did get one for Christmas or a birthday, something like that. And it is Live and Let Growl by Lauren, Lorian Burinson? I'm sorry, I think I destroyed your name. Number seven is, do you have a book by an author using a pen name? This is also a yes and no, because I do not know if any one on these bookshelves are using a pen name. But I do have 12 books in the Warrior Cat series by Aaron Hunter, and that is a pen name. Those ones are at my parents, so obviously that's why it's a no. Uh, <laughs> but I do have that series, so that one is counting. Number eight, do you have a book with a character's name in the title? 
immediately we go to exhibit A, where I have two copies of Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia because I absolutely adore this book and I had to get it both in hardcover and paperback. I just had this genius idea to hook my list onto a magnetic clip and hang it on my tripod. That might have worked if my tripod wasn't plastic. Number nine. Do you have a book with two maps in it? I think I remember which one I used for this because it took me like 20 minutes to find. Yes, I was correct. I used An Ember in the Ashes by Sabata here because in the front, it has like a general world map. And in the back, it has a more concentrated map. And this is the only book that I have with two maps in it, so don't judge me. Number 10. Whoa, my hair is doing its own thing. Number 10 is, do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? I have a few. The first one that comes to mind is Light as a Feather by Zoe Arson, which is on Hulu, which I need to go watch the second series because whew, the first one was really good. Number 11, do you have a book written by someone who was originally famous for something else? This one, I don't know if I do. They're talking about like actor, athlete, kind of thing. And I don't really know if I have one. All right. Number 12 is, do you have a book with a clock on the cover? I do remember this one because it was the first book I went to and I was like, oh my God, I'm killing this. So the first book I went to that had a clock on the cover was The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Because I don't know if you can see it, it's very little, itty bitty. But it was there, and that was the first book I pulled off the shelf, and I was like, wow, I'm good. Number 13 is, do you have a poetry book? I have, like, Milk and Honey, and then I have the Pillow Thoughts series, and a few others of that kind of simplistic poetry style, and I wrote this for you by Ian Thomas. Um, if you wanted to count Crank by Ellen Hopkins, because it is, like, poetic prose, you could count that one, too. But then I have two by people I have met and know. The first one, the absence In the Absence of the Sun by Emily Curtis. I was a TA at a writing camp that my university does every summer. I went to it myself and then I was a TA at it. I don't really know. I was kind of like a counselor, but it's weird. It's hard to explain my position. <laughs> I was like a counselor, but then assistant and then like friend. Yeah, it was weird. Um, but this girl came in, she was like 16 or 17 and already had published this book and was asking if we could help her put it in like the bookstore in town. And the bookstore owner was like, yeah, sure. Yeah, so I got to meet her. She'd already had a book and according to her Instagram, she has another one. And then the other one of people I know is Pomegranate Odyssey by Hannah Kalkin. I went to college with her. I got to see a lot of these poems in workshop before they get to go in this little book. They are absolutely amazing. Check her out, please. You'll do yourself a big favor because her work is amazing. Number 14, do you have a book with an award stamp on it? And I remember this one as well because, yeah. I don't like award stamps on my book, hands down. I will buy any other book just to avoid the award stamp. So the only one I really have that has a stamp on it is Eileen by Otesh. Tessa Moshfeg, and it is shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize. So it's not even really an award stamp, but it's all I got because I just don't like award stamps on my books. Oh boy, this one's gonna be fun. Number 15 is, do you have a book written by an author with the same initials as you? Ah, oh, e. Another E. M. Wow, this was surprising. Not. <laughs> Yo! Oh. My God. I didn't think this was gonna happen. But it did. A Wolf Called Romeo by Nick John Jans? Johns? Jans? It starts with a J, that's all I care. Mine is Nova Jarvis, so obviously NJ. Oh my God, I am like, how does this happen? I honestly thought I did not have any books on this shelf that had the, oh. My mind is blown. Number 16 is, do you have a book of short stories? Yeah, I do. 
after I take apart an entire bookshelf to get it. I have Homesick for Another World by Otessa Moshfang. This is a book of short stories that I had to read for a fiction class in college, and I absolutely love them, so obviously I kept them, and I still like peeking in them every once in a while. Can we pretend this one isn't a question? Is that a thing? Can we do that? Do you have a book between 500 and 510 pages long? I remember this one. I remember I went through like every book in the bookshelf and I found one that was 503 pages long and now I don't remember which one it was. Oh my god! Aha! It was 505, I correct myself, but this is sl Slice of Cherry by Dia Reeves. This is the only book on my bookshelf that fits that thing. Alright, number 18. Do you have a book that was turned into a movie? I'm sure I have plenty. Don't know why I can't think of any of them while I'm standing here, but you know, it's fine. Literally one I finished and read just the- uh, what? Finished and watched just the other day. All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. I finished it the other night and then I made the decision to stay up and watch the entire movie. So I was up really late, but you know, it's fine. 19. Do you have a graphic novel? That is a no. And last but not least is, do you have a book written by two or more authors? Heck yeah. I have Illumine by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I feel like everyone does this book for it. Everyone that I've watched at least has done like something of this. And I'm like, wow, I guess this is... <laughs> How rare is it? Is it rare? I don't know, but maybe there should be more author collabs because, you know, that'd be kind of cool. Anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. We went through lots of books all over this shelf. If you have any kind of challenge or tag that you would like me to do, drop it down below because I will love to do whatever you have and go from there. What? Do you want to say hello? You want to say hello? This one's got to say hello before. You saying hello? Good boy. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.